Hello, my name is Dennis William Hauck, and I'm going to take you for a short tour of my alchemy lab. Modern laboratories in uh, alchemy and chemistry share a lot in common with uh, medieval laboratories. And the major difference is, of course, that we've got modern equipment today. Most laboratories are arranged in uh, order of uh, operations in alchemy. It's different sections of the laboratory um, are used for different functions uh, following the principles of alchemy. Basically, the first operation in alchemy is calcination or working with fire in order to purify um, the elements and the uh, raw materials that we've accumulated, trying to extract the essence of that material. It ranges from uh, furnaces such as this and and um, which are basically an oven for lower temperatures and the furnace for the higher temperature work uh, in which metals are melted in crucibles and ashes are obtained and, and carried through um, very high temperatures, uh, 2,000 to 3,000 degrees um, in order to get the purification that is desired. The more simpler um, calcination processes are of course drying uh, modern herb dryers such as this, which can be found in kitchen uh, st stores, supply stores, are used. And uh, the basic operations of calcination are, of course, working with heat and polarization, uh, followed usually by dissolution operations or working with water and uh, dissolving materials and dissolving uh, essences, uh, sometimes dissolving the ashes and materials from calcination. Uh, another important operation is separation, where the materials are separated into different uh, uh, layers, for instance, in fractional distillation, or in simple funnel, uh, funnel work with filter papers in which um, the different size materials are uh, separated out. And also centrifuging and um, gravity separation is another method of uh, separation. Conjunction is a, a process in which um, elements are brought together uh, in two vessels or a single vessel in order to combine and combine into a new essence. Uh, fermentation, which is a process that begins with putrefaction, is a major process in alchemy. The alchemists always had uh, a vessel of some type filled with putrefying, disgusting, digesting matter, uh, such as this fermenting chamber, in which the materials are put inside. For instance, grapes, if we're talking grapes, the crushed grapes, uh, pulverized grapes are put into a container, and the container is sealed with a water seal, or hermetically sealed. For instance, water is put in here, and then the top is put in uh, for an airtight container, and the digestion goes on for days or weeks at a time uh, and changes the chemical composition of the materials. In this case, it produces uh, alcohol. The symbol, in fact, for uh, aqua vitae is a, a symbol for the alcohol that we get from grapes. Uh, it's the uh, symbol for the purest alcohol. Uh, in, a, in today's world, it would be called ethanol in the more general sense, um, used uh, all through industry and even to power our cars. But in alchemy, aqua vita is the ultimate alcohol. It is the most spiritual alcohol coming from grapes and uh, is the alcohol that is preferred uh, for dissolving herbs in, in alchemy. Of course, alchemists worked with the, with the ancient symbols which, which have more meaning for the alchemist uh, and carry some of the esoteric signatures of the materials being worked with, for instance, uh, similar here for uh, potash, which is uh, a good name actually because uh, that's how you form it. You take ash and you put it in the pot and you heat it up uh, for many hours, sometimes even days, and you produce um, a um, compound <coughs> that is, uh, contains uh, new properties from the ashes. Uh, potash uh, w produced potassium uh, compounds. In fact, potassium is potash. You might consider it 
a derivative uh, of the alchemist term. Another popular uh, element in alchemy is sulfur, the symbol for triple purified or uh, sublimated uh, sulfur. Sulfur became uh, extremely um, important in alchemy and in fact sulfuric acid and other sulfur compounds provided a healing and uh, powered the industrial revolution for, for many decades. Next process after fermentation is distillation and basically it involves taking uh, a compound, uh, an impure compound for, for instance the dregs and, and uh, putrefied solution from uh, fermentation and putting it in an alembic which is a boiling vessel basically and then putting it through a, a process of distillation to separate out the, um, the materials involved. For instance the materials are boiled, the vapors go up and are condensed through a condenser and then drawn off uh, in the vessel. The basic retort which is uh, something like this is, is the simplest distillation apparatus. The, the water's just boiled, or the material's just boiled in this uh, alembic part, and then it comes out through the um, long condenser stem and is collected. So the basic shape for um, a retort is easily recognizable. One retort that was uh, used quite a bit in alchemy is, is an alchemical apparatus called the uh, pelican. The pelican consists of a lower alembic boiling vessel and then a double chamber in the middle chamber where a double circulation is going on. There are usually two arms um, reminiscent in the alchemical imagi imagination of a pelican pecking at its breast to feed its young with its own blood, sacrificing itself. And uh, distillation, probably the most important operation in alchemy, uh, does that same thing. It sacrifices the material below to bring out the essences to nourish the stone. The solution becomes known as the mother of the stone. And, um, and, th and through this recirculation or pelican apparatus, it becomes purer and purer the longer the, uh, the vessel is heated. So we've got the vessel here coming up with the uh, vapors from the material. The materials are recirculated in part uh, by the pelican arms and they go back uh, down into the vessel. So it's a recirculation process and, so, and the final purified uh, essence of, of the steam uh, come up into the um, retort part, or the collecting uh, part of the uh, uh, vessel and uh, the, the steam condenses and then runs out through um, a uh, tube where the essences can be collected. Coagulation is a process in alchemy that involves all these processes coming together. So basically it's a, it's a uh, operation that concludes of itself if the previous work was done accordingly. But there's all types of uh, intermediate operations that go on in alchemy, uh, as in chemistry, to produce the desired product. But the difference is um, it's not a commercial enterprise. Alchemy is interested in producing essences um, and delving into the mystery of matter. And there's a component in alchemy that is not present in chemistry, and it's basically uh, the meditation uh, area. Every alchemical laboratory, by definition, has an oratory or a uh, meditation tabernacle or a space set aside for meditation, where the uh, energies of the above and the below are brought together in one operation. You have uh, the male and female alchemists coming together, a kind of a lateral conjunction of uh, feminine and um, masculine consciousness coming together to focus on what's going on in the athanar, uh, the furnace of the alchemist, bringing together the essences. The essences above are in the imagination and consciousness of the alchemists themselves, as well as drawing down energies from above. And that is the whole conjunction, a uh, vertical conjunction going on here between the powers above and the powers below. Chemists don't work like that. So the whole operations, uh, a whole of operations in alchemy and, and uh, the meditative work, uh, the practical work in the lab, and the work on one's own psychology, in fact, that simultaneous changes would take place between the alchemist and, uh, and the material he's working with is a very intimate relationship not found in chemistry. 
um, and the focus on essences, the, the, the minute and tiny hidden essences of everything, the sulfur, mercury, and salt, the, sp the, the soul, spirit, and body of everything can be released to transform it into a higher incarnation. So essences are the key and the goal of alchemy.